I'm Debbie from Ask Debbie About Hair and the Changing Faces Hair Clinic. And I want to ask you a question. Do you know that your thyroid could be causing your hair loss? So many of you are experiencing hair loss and thinning of your hair. And a lot of times you go to your doctor and what happens is when you give them the symptoms that you're having, they always check your thyroid. That's one of the things they check when there is a, a situation where you're experiencing a lot of hair loss. But the problem is when the results come back, your doctor usually tells you that your thyroid is fine. The problem with that test is that one, it's just a snapshot and two, when your doctors are checking your thyroid, many of them are doing a very simple test. It only tests your TSH and your T4s. And if it's only checking that, that's not enough to show that your thyroid is not functioning properly. The best way to actually know if you're having a thyroid problem is to check your ratios of your potassium and your calcium. Because you see, potassium plays a major role with your thyroid. It has a lot to do with your metabolism also. And the test that you get, it doesn't check for your potassium or your calcium. So this is why many of you, when you go to your doctor and they check your thyroids because they think that could be the cause of your hair loss, the test come back and it's fine. They have to go deeper. But it's a test that can help you finally know what's going on. And it's called a hair mineral analysis. This test actually is a laboratory test where it uses a sample of your hair to check the minerals and it measures the minerals and identify anything that's going wrong in your body on a mineral scale. Your hair contains all of the minerals that your body needs. And even though the thyroid gland is a small butterfly shaped gland, right in the throat area, it has a big, big job to do for your body. Your thyroid controls your energy, it controls your metabolism, it controls part of your nervous system, it controls how you burn calories, it controls your heart rate, muscle control, cholesterol, brain development, your moods, and so much more. So this thyroid gland has a lot to do with your overall health. And I think it's very important that you try to get a test that's going to really identify the problem because otherwise you're just going to continue having unexplained hair loss but the underlying cause is your thyroid. There are two types of thyroid disorders. One is a hypothyroidism, that's an underactive thyroid. That's when your, your thyroids are actually functioning at a slower rate. The symptoms of a hypothyroid is basically it's fatigue where you're tired all the time. There's depression, there's weight gain, there's joint and muscle pain, dry skin, dry hair. You can't concentrate, there's forgetfulness. Um, and one big thing is hair loss. It's going to cause a lot of hair loss. Then there's hyperthyroidism, and that's an overactive thyroid. And the symptoms of a hyperactive thyroid is irrit irritability, couldn't say it. Um, you're very anxious all the time. You sweat a lot. Your periods are either missed or very, very light. You're very hyperactive. You can't gain any weight. And of course, hair loss. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you today is because many of you either need to get your thyroids checked or you need to get your thyroid rechecked. And when you do get it checked, if you go back to your doctor, ask them about checking the levels of your potassium and your calcium because this way they can tell you for sure if this is something that you're dealing with. Now also I want to share with you that there are many foods that you need to stay away from if you're dealing with a thyroid problem. And in this video, you'll see a link. That link will take you to some information where one, it'll give you more detailed information about the thyroid gland, and it'll tell you about some foods that you need to avoid and some other natural things that can help you with your thyroid. If you wanna learn more about possibly getting a hair mineral analysis, I'll also send you some information about that. 
I just want you to know because so many of you are suffering with hair loss and you really have no idea that it's your thyroid or you did get your thyroid checked and it was missed. So now you still don't know, but I can tell you, I'm sure once you get this test done, you'll finally know. So I hope I helped you with this information. I hope you can take this. You can Google everything that I said and research it. If you want to find out more information, again, check the link in this video. And I'm hoping that I'm going to help you grow some healthy hair. Let's get growing.